This young lady's amassed more than 10 million followers on YouTube, shooting silly videos with her friends. Now Lisa Guerrero reports some of those now former friends and their parents are suing, alleging they were exploited. Good morning, guys! She's a multimillionaire YouTube star, and she's only 15. It's gonna be a super awesome video! You may not know her name, but your teenage kids do. Her name is Piper Raquel. I brought my whole entire squad. And her videos have amassed close to a remarkable 2 billion views. She has her own YouTube channel with 10.5 million subscribers. We are doing a really, really highly requested video. Piper is the star, but her videos also feature her goofing around with a rotating squad of friends. All these happy kids when, like, behind the scenes, that's yeah. not how we all were. We're stressed out crying and being in these videos yeah. because you're yelling at us, and it's it's not, yeah. it's not fair. Yeah, you did it! Listen. But today, Piper's mom, Tiffany Smith, is under fire by all these former squad members for claims of like, financial exploitation. <laughs> In a lawsuit, they accuse her of exposing them to a physical, emotional, verbal, and sometimes sexually abusive environment. All of our innocence was just yeah. swiped from us. <laughs> she would, like, run around and say sexual things to you. Were you ever asked to pose provocatively or to wear things you were uncomfortable wearing. Oh yeah, Tiffany would always tell me to go up into Piper's closet and get something that's more tight and revealing. Claire and her sister Reese are cousins of Piper's and starred in some of her early videos. I feel like my childhood got ruined. Sophie Fergie says Tiffany once encouraged her to pose in a towel. Sophie, how old were you when you were asked to dress provocatively. I believe I was 11 or 12. This is my outfit. Piper's mom has also come under fire for having Piper pose in bikinis. Pink recently wondered how many kids like Piper Raquel are being exploited by their parents. I feel like it's important to come forward because other kids who might think this is normal, um, it's not. Corinne Joy was one of Piper's first squad members. There's like being overly sexualized at a young age and um, being told to say things, do things, wear things um, for the appeal of YouTube and for people to click on it more, mm -hmm. which is just absolutely disgusting. But we didn't know a lot of the things that were going on. We weren't allowed to be there. These two former squad moms say they're really upset. And I'm mortified by what she's done to other children. Jennifer Bryant is Walker's mother. It needs to be exposed and she needs to be held responsible for what she's doing. Stevie Arico is Kareen Joy's mom. I 100% think that Tiffany exploited our children um, for monetary gain. Piper's mom says that you're all just coming forward because you're jealous of Piper's success and the money that she's made. No, no. I don't care. No. I don't care about no any of her success. No one's jealous of you. No. Especially when I joined, there was nothing to be jealous of or anything to take from you. I didn't join the squad because I wanted money and fame. Yeah. I joined the squad it's because I thought I was going to have friends. These are hardworking, good kids, and they've been taken advantage of. Matt Sarilson is their attorney. They were inundated with sexual language, uh, rhetoric, and just a sort of a sexualized atmosphere. Anne Henry is the co-founder of Biz Parents, a nonprofit watchdog group that works to protect the rights of child actors. This whole world of social media, particularly influencers, is definitely ripe for abuse. The bottom line here is that Tiffany Raquel Smith does need to be held responsible. Today, all these teens say they still care about Piper and just want what's best for her. I believe that Piper is a victim. Piper did nothing. It's Piper's completely mm -hmm. innocent. It's all Tiffany. A lawyer for Piper and her mother declined to comment for our report, but in court papers, they say all the allegations of wrongdoing are false. A trial is set for next fall.